My name is Jin Kasahara. I'm a first year high schooler with an introverted personality. I have alright grades and I'm not bad at sports either, but since I have zero communication skills, not only do I not have a girlfriend, but I don't have any friends either. Not only that, but my family is poor. Since I have no relationships with anyone other than my family, you could say that my life was extremely peaceful. There was one thing bothering me, though. I wonder what my lunchbox is today. Oh, it's a shrimp! What? You're eating the toppingless 150 yen ramen again, Kasahara-kun? There's some spring onion added, so it's not exactly toppingless. <laughs> Only a poor person would say something like that so proudly. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I can't. It's the duty of wealthy people to share with those who aren't so fortunate. Do you want me to give you some of my food? No thanks. I finished eating, so excuse me. Ah. She's my classmate, Mocha Toto. Apparently, she's the daughter of a CEO. She's strong-willed and has the looks of a model. Her father is the CEO of a large company and her mother is the company's legal advisor. They're your typical rich family. Although she has anything she could ever want, she doesn't have any friends, just like me. Everyone probably distances themselves from her since she lives in a completely different world. For some reason, though, she always goes out of her way to talk to me. To be honest, I find it a bother, which is why I try my best to avoid her work experience program, huh? I already work part-time, so there's really no point. Having to get into pairs is awkward as well. I guess I'll just choose something ordinary. Um, Kasahara kun Yes? Having to get on a train to get to the workplace is a hassle, right? That's why I'm going to get my dad's driver to drive me there. I see. Impressive, right? It's a luxury car that's hard to get in Japan. It's really comfortable and it feels like you're on a sofa while you move. She's just bragging again. So? Sorry. There's something I have to do from now on, so excuse me. Hey, I haven't finished talking to you. Jesus. If you're so rich, stop teasing someone poor like me. That'll be 2,350 yen. After school, I go straight to my part-time job. After that, I go home and clean the house, and then I do my homework. Since I only have a single parent, I have to help with the housework. My lifestyle was pretty tough. I feel like someone's staring at me. Huh? Toto-san? Uh... Again. For some reason, I see her a lot outside of school recently. The other day, we ran into each other on a street corner. All she has to do now is say, I'm going to be late, with bread in her mouth to become your typical girl's manga. I guess it's just a coincidence, I thought to myself. Uh, today was such a tiring day. Time to eat! My guilty pleasure is eating at the Japanese diner near my house. I go here once a month, and it's what I look forward to the most. They serve large portions of karage sets for 500 yen. It's the kind of restaurant that has the financial concerns of regular citizens in mind. I eat the set meal with dopamine gushing in my brain as usual when... What? Why is she here as well? What? I wanted to experience what life was like for ordinary citizens. I didn't say anything. Hey, and to think I came to see you. You came to see me? Oh, um, uh, you shouldn't treat a classmate you saw by chance outside of school like that. This is the worst. 
my happy time. I thought, but it got even worse. Why are you following me home? It's just that our homes are in the same direction. You're walking today? Where's the driver that always picks you up in a luxury car? I'm a kind person, so I'm giving him a break today. Wow, what a unique house. It's like the house we got for our dog when I was a kid. So my house is a dog house for her, huh? If she follows me inside, she might make fun of even my dad. I don't often do this, but I decided to tell her exactly how I felt. Do you have nothing better to do, princess? Why do you keep making fun of me for being poor? To be honest, you're a bother. How can you even keep bragging about being rich when it's all your parents doing and not yours? It's just that you were born to a rich family, weren't you? Have you even ever thought about how others feel? I think I might have went too far, but I decided to be as sarcastic as I could to make sure she would stop following me. She's gonna get mad, right? I thought, but... <laughs> what? Her face went red and she started crying. Now it looks like I'm the bad guy. But this is nothing compared to all the insults she gave me until now. She deserves a taste of her own medicine. I left her crying there and went home. But... Um... You standing there forever is kind of a bother. Sorry. She was still where I left her. I ignored her at first, but after two hours had passed, even I felt like I had to say something. Until when are you going to keep standing there? Until you forgive me. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know you found it so unpleasant. I just oh, wanted to be friends with you. Friends? With me? Yes. I wasn't expecting this at all. At first, I thought she might be up to something, but when I saw her face, I realized she was telling the truth. I don't understand, though. All she did until now was either brag or insult me. I asked her about that, and again, she gave me an answer I wasn't expecting. That's why... So the reason you kept showing me your lunchbox is because you wanted to eat with me. And the reason you bragged about your luxury car is because you wanted me to go to the workplace experience with you. And the reason I kept seeing you outside of school is so you could approach me? Yeah, I thought that you wouldn't want to become friends with me if you had nothing to gain by it. She's so bad at making friends. I guess I can't call others out on that, though. Um, others don't exactly see your actions that way, so I think you should be more careful. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Despite being a princess, she bowed her head down and apologized to me. She regrets her actions a lot, and apparently she didn't mean any harm with all the things she said until now. So, I see no reason to stay mad at her. I'm sorry as well. I went too far earlier. Oh! Huh? What's the matter? This is what's called a friends making up, right? So, we were friends. We weren't? Apparently, she's actually a really pure person. Now that I think about it, this is the first time anyone's ever said that they wanted to be friends with me. I was surprised at how excited I got over the fact. Uh, I understand. Let's be friends. Yep. But why me, though? Since we're both loners. I guess it's easier becoming friends with another loner when you're a loner yourself. Anyways, it's getting late, so I think you should go home now. Okay, 
Tad's waiting for me nearby, so I'll be fine. Um, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. That's how the princess I hated until now became my friend. <laughs> Stop being so polite with me and call me by my first name. Um, Mocha? San? You don't need to add San, just call me Mocha. A nickname would be good as well. What about you, Mochan? Alright, Mocha then. What? Try calling me Mochan at least once! Her actions always looked really self centered, but after talking to her more, I found out that she was actually pretty sensitive and thoughtful. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I went to school with someone else since elementary school when we would go home as a class. Listening to her talk about her past, I got the feeling that she was actually lonely all this time. The fact that I got excited over the fact that I could go to school with her probably meant that I too felt lonely deep inside. Good evening. Excuse me. Good evening. Good eve. What? Hurry up and get changed. I'll be waiting outside. Okay. Oh, you had a girlfriend, Kasahara? Are you two going on a date after this or something? Um, no, she's... Can I call her my friend? <laughs> He's getting flustered. You're so pure getting your face all in red like that. My face is red? Me? Sorry, my co-workers got the wrong idea. What? Why is your face red as well? Now it's even more embarrassing. Sometimes things get awkward between us like this ever since we became friends. Even though we're just friends, we're the opposite gender, so I guess it can't be helped. At the time, I just thought it was only natural. Wow. So this is how they produce stuff. It's so cool, right? Mocha and I chose the same workplace for the work experience program. To be honest, I didn't really care where we went, so we just went where Mocha wanted to go. That person is... Is she really? Huh? I feel like they're looking at us a lot. kasahara -kun, right? Yes. How do you feel about work? The employee in charge of showing us around suddenly asked me a question. Apparently, he wants to know what a high schooler like me thinks about work. I think it's a way to increase happiness. I see. What exactly do you mean by that? Money isn't everything in society. But not having money can lead to all sorts of tough circumstances. No matter how much love or friendship you have, it's never bad to have some money as well. Is there any job in particular you're interested in? No, not really. My family is poor, which is why I just want to have a job where I can earn enough money to support my father in the future. I see. Not bad. I heard that you became friends with my daughter. Daughter? Why did you ask to be our guide, Dad? He always looks so happy talking about Kasahara Kud, which is why I wanted to see what kind of person he was for myself. What? You're Mocha's... Um... Mocha-san's father? This company is one of the companies in the group of my father runs. I see. You're really mature for a high schooler. Yet, you're also very interesting. Uh, thank you. It's probably thanks to you. This is the first time I've seen Mocha talking about one of her classmates so excitedly. You have my thanks. What? Don't say stuff like that. Your job as your guide is over. Just go back to your usual work. <laughs> Alright, bye then, Kasahara-kun. 
Take care of Mocha for me. Uh, okay. S sorry Dad's been acting strange recently. He's probably just happy since it's the first time I became friends with someone. Uh, I see. Mocha's face went red after hearing her father's joke and lost her cool. I pretended to be calm, but for an instant, I imagined a future with her and felt guilty for it. Our work experience ended it in that awkward atmosphere. Tano-san! Do you know about the cafe near the station? It's so stylish! I yeah Toto started acting a lot nicer. And not only that, but is now friends with me, which is probably why people started approaching her more. Other guys started approaching her a lot in particular. How did you become friends with Mokasan? Um, a lot of coincidences occurred, and... On the other hand, I'm being used by other students to get information on Mocha. Living a peaceful life on my own isn't bad, but talking to other people like this is pretty good as well. I thought, but I couldn't quite feel completely calm. I couldn't stay calm seeing her being surrounded by other guys like that. Are you listening, Kasaharakun? Yeah. You definitely weren't. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Give this to your father. What's this? Um, uh, don't look at it yet. Huh? The words consent to marriage were written neatly on the envelope. Marriage consent? Who and who is getting married? It's written on the letter, isn't it? You and me. <laughs> My parents already signed it. So all we need now is your father's signature. You should be happy. Dad doesn't usually become so fond of other people. But no, but... Are you fine with this? You're scary when you get mad and eat a lot. You're unfriendly and not good at communicating with others. It's hard to tell what you're thinking, and you're not very charming. She definitely isn't fine with this. But you're the first person who became friends with me. What? <clears throat> Someone my level isn't satisfied with just being friends. And the only other relationship we could have is being a couple, right? And if we were a couple, why don't we just get married? Is what I thought. Anyways, just consider it, okay? I hope we can get along from now on, Jean. I'm used to the things she says that are basically code by now. Apparently, she isn't just bad at making friends, but is bad at asking people out as well. Well, I guess I can't call her out because I didn't sign the letter with her there, even though I already knew how I felt.